Hey everybody, HG Shaves. I'm back here with another video. Today, a couple products to talk to you about. First, as usual, uh, it's usually some sort of soap that I'm talking about. Zingari Man, the magician. Um, this is the new Sego soap base that Heather worked on for quite some time. Um, previously, I believe she only offered uh, vegan soap bases. And then this um, has uh, tallow in it, as well as possibly some other uh, animal products and it has been getting a lot of hype in the wet shaving world um, for its performance and uh, after using it a few times I actually used some of um, the samples that she handed out at the meetup um, that we had a few weeks ago. I had used the sample and then after trying those out I went ahead and got the full tub. So let me read you some of these ingredients here. So beef tallow, of course, shea butter, castor oil, palm oil, jojoba oil, oat bran oil, goat milk, coconut oil, coconut milk. So let me show you what the soap looks like in the container here. Um, I've been lathering out of it a couple times and it's very, very firm. Like I can't make an indent in it really. Oak moss, orange blossom, and firm. Man, uh, I have to say, it's really nice to use sort of a more simple uh, or simply scented uh, soap after using so many complex ones for a while. Um, yeah, I, I don't think anybody would argue that it's oak moss, orange blossom, and fern in this soap. Um, it's also very lightly scented, I would say. Not very lightly, but I don't know, maybe 3 out of 10, 4 out of 10. And so that's also been nice too, just to kind of let the scent of the soap sort of fade to the background. Um, and I can really focus on, you know, lathering up and shaving. <laughs> so um, yeah, overall I've been really happy uh, using that soap. So wanted to do a proper video um, talking about today. And so the other um, product here, which is new to me, is the uh, Maggard Super High Density SHD uh, Badger Knot. So uh, this is a 24 millimeter one with a wolf whiskers handle here. Oh, got it flipped. Wolf whiskers. And uh, I've been having it soak in here for probably 20 minutes by now. What I did was I let um, most of the water come out of it just hanging it this way and then I gave it a couple big shakes. Um, so far I've been happy using this. Um, like I said, it's my first time using the super high density. Um, but uh, it's, you know, definitely soft on the face and has been producing nice lathers for me. Um, I do find that because of the density and because it's so soft, I do have to load for quite a bit, um, at least on this Zingari soap here. Um, and I have to push down a little bit into the soap to get it to pick up, um, but I don't mind that. You know, I'm, I'm not somebody who's upset about having to load more soap because of the brush. Um, I'm happy to load it for a little longer, but um, that is something to note. So um, with that, let me get some water on my face and then I'm gonna go right into this face lather. So after loading for about 50, 60 seconds here, this is all that you can see on kind of the tips of the brush. Um, you know, a lot of it does just go right into the middle, I think. So we'll see how this works. Um, sometimes I have to go back to the puck even a little bit more but um, I just gotta kinda start working it and we'll see how it goes. So, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start with that here for the first pass. Um, as I said last week, when you use this Marco wet brush method, lather just goes everywhere. But um, again, especially with these really thirsty soaps like Zingari Sego Base, um, it, you know, it just sort of saves you some time 
um, near the end of your lather in terms of adding water. So um, yeah, this is a really wet um, lather and um, that's what you want with this. So um, razor today, same as last week, the Feather ASD2 with a Pulse Silver. I've been enjoying using this still. So um, gonna warm up the razor and then we're going to the first pass. All right, first pass done. Wow, the soap is really, really slick, um, especially there when I'm shaving under my, well, under my chin. Uh, it it, it kind of felt like I was on a bike going downhill and just gliding super easily, not you know needing to work at all at it. So um, yeah, great. Um, let's lather up for pass number two here. All right, ready for pass number two here. Um, you know, I'm not super experienced with badgers by any means, but one of the things that I've been noticing um, since using this brush is how the ability of this thing to hold the lather, um, I guess, in the right proportions throughout three passes um, is something that I don't necessarily feel with synthetic or, or, or bore knots, but the fact that it can, you know, they said maintain the like ratio of water to soap. Um, it's just really great. So um, I'm, I'm happy with how this just came out of the brush naturally um, for pass number two here. So um, yeah. All right, nice second pass. Um, because this razor is so mild, um, I've been going for third passes um, against the grain mostly. And so, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna do that now. I probably don't totally need it. I could probably just do a touch up, but again, why not with this razor, right?
All right, final pass against the grain, mostly here. All right, very nice uh, three pass shave there. So I'm gonna rinse and then come back to do um, some final thoughts. Overall, really nice shaves this week with the Zingari Man, the magician in the new Sego base. Um, I could have, you know, ran that lather today a bit thicker, used a bit more soap, but um, I've been sort of trying in the past couple weeks to really hydrate these lathers and just see how far I can kind of push them in terms of the wetness. Um, and um, now that I've tried that, maybe I'll kind of dial it back and find something that's more in the middle. But I do have to say, you know, the slickness um, that you get when you really hydrate a lather like that and the lather can take it like, you know, some of these thirsty soaps can, you're really given a very nice slickness for your shave. Um, while, you know, the protection maybe could have been a little bit better if I would have ran it thicker. Um, yeah, like I said, that slickness was just like riding a bike down a hill or something. Um, and then also here, the Maggard Super High Density Knot. Um, this is a really fantastic value. Um, I should have mentioned this earlier, but you know, you can get a 24 millimeter knot like this, just the knot from Maggard, I think for, I don't know, 40 or $50. And for that price point to kind of um, get an introduction to the high-end Badger world, I mean, I think you can't beat it. Um, it's This brush is, ex, you know, very, very soft. Um, it's easy to, you know, splay while still being, having enough backbone, in my opinion. Um, uh, the only thing that I would say is, you know, I do wish that the flow through was a little bit better on this brush. Um, it does seem like it just kind of sits there in the middle and it's hard to get it out. But um, it's it's really hard to knock this brush, um, especially if you pick it up on the used market like I did. I mean, I got this thing knot and handle and a nice handle at that for like barely even over what just the knot would have cost me from 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 Manger. Um So yeah, that's uh, basically it for today. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, let me know what you think. Um, have you used the Sago base? Uh, are, are you finding it as nice and slick as I do? Uh, what do you think about the super high density knots that are out there um, on the market so much these days? So um, probably more Badger Brush reviews to come in the future. Um, so if you're into that, stay tuned. But for now, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Thanks.